I have a video for you today. This video will help you save time, especially when you're a beginner or maybe even an intermediate seller, um, reseller of clothes online. So I have a list here. Um, one of the first things that you want to do to be able to cut down on the questions that people ask is you want to measure the chest of all tops or armpit to armpit. You want to uh, have that measurement included in your description. Um, another thing you want to have if you're doing pants, have the inseam measurement on there. They're going to ask that. What is it made of? So you take either a picture of the tag uh, to you know say what it's made of, or you can put it in your description. Um, I, I like to do you know take clear pictures of the size of whatever you're selling on the tag, the tag size. Take clear pictures of that. Um, also, if you're selling used clothing, describe every single flaw. I mean, every little thing, and take pictures of it real good, high definition quality pictures that people can see. If it's messed up, tell them it's messed up. If the shoes is stinking crazy, tell them the shoes stink. Let them know what they get so when they get it, they're not surprised, and then you get returns. So, um, another thing. I wish I would have started doing when I first started doing this was labeling my freaking inventory. And what I mean by that is saying where it is, you know, because when I first started, I didn't have that much stuff. So I used to just throw it in the closet and I knew it, everything was in the closet. If it's hanging up in the closet, I just go get it. But once I start getting like 300, 400, 500 items up, it started getting out of control. So I had to go get some bins and organize everything label it i had to go back in in my descriptions and label where i put it and that was a waste of time so if you could start out doing that from the beginning you won't have to waste so much time you'll know exactly where things are you won't waste any time looking for any items when they sell um another thing let me see can get you some of these uh poly bags i like these ones uh i put a lot of my uh shirts uh sometimes i put sandals in here uh even shoes uh whatever i could fit in here these things are pretty strong pretty durable i buy three four cases of these i go through them pretty quick and these are pretty much all first class every i use these for first class and for for shoes i i ship ship my shoes in this box in this priority box and um, you get these free uh, all priority I got a lot of priority stuff you need to sign up um, on I'll leave a link in the description where you sign up for it but uh, you go there you can order um, I got? these flat rate uh, bubble mailers I use these the Tyvek ones those come in handy for your bigger items, or bigger clothing items like a big sweater or uh, a coat or something like that. Um, you can wrap it up in a Tyvek uh, priority. Um, another thing uh, is a scale. I had a scale. So if you don't have a scale, I had a scale for uh, weighing food, but it still does the same purpose. It, it does about five pounds. Um, anything over that, I just use my regular scale. Um, my weighing scale uh this is a little trick that i do so i stand on the scale see how much i weigh and then i get the item i put it in my hand and then i stand back on the scale and i just do the difference i do the math and then i say oh that's how much it weigh so that's one thing that you can do and in the next video i will do um uh, i guess a more established reseller of things that they should get or you know things that will make your um, store and your pictures and everything seem to be a little bit more quality and a printer that I use that uh, doesn't require ink subscribe and come back for more videos to learn more things I'm out